Typically, I think of my under eyes as the giant nuisance that I have to deal with every day. Like, I feel like my whole life looks like I've never slept on my face. I just call it my dark area. I just mostly call them my dark under eye circles or my shame. They're basically hollow shells underneath my eyes. I've been wearing makeup to cover my under eyes since I'm probably about eight years old, nine years old. It is the first thing that I attack when I have my makeup out. It's like painting multiple layers on the Golden Gate Bridge. It's a process. I've tried microneedling. I've tried every cream, no matter how expensive it is. Nothing has ever worked to correct my under eye circles. So I actually found out I was diagnosed with um, stage two ovarian cancer in May, and I had a surgery, and I'm actually getting married in four months, so I wanted to do something for me that was really positive, that helped me sort of claim back who I was before my cancer diagnosis, and just feel really confident and beautiful. I hope that after this procedure, I look like a radiant goddess uh, <laughs> who looks like she's actually had a chance to sleep. The number one reason I see dark circles under the eyes is because of volume loss in the tear trough. And at a certain point, we know no amount of cover-up is going to cover up a hollow. And it's really freeing to know that you can go to the gym, go to yoga, and not have to put cover-up on. And that's my wish for my patients. So Stacy's bothered by these dark circles around her eyes. Part of the reason she has them is just her facial structure. And it's very common that this is where her orbit ends, her bone that her eye is in, and so she has this hollow. The key is that you look a little dark in here, and you're a little flattened there. So if I can lift you here a bit, and just a touch in here. Is this an eyes open or an eyes closed kind of thing? Well, my eyes have to be open. Okay, so here we go, so just relax there. Oh my God. What? <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, totally, wow. Wow. Oh my God. I look like I had some sleep last night. It's no longer going scooped out. Yeah, I don't have to fill it in with mashed potatoes anymore. I feel like a new woman. It didn't really hurt that much. It was just like a tiny little pinch. I mean, I've definitely plucked an eyebrow hair that felt much worse than that. I feel lifted and happier, and I don't feel droopy. I would definitely go without makeup now. I definitely feel like I could walk around, go to the beach, go see friends, go to work. This whole part of my face just seemed brighter. The skin tone seemed more even. I'm really happy about my results. I think that it filled in the hollow underneath my eyes. I would absolutely do it again. I would recommend it to all of my friends. So this was great. <laughs> I really look forward to not investing thousands of dollars into concealer.